this is the landing page uh, that the when someone requests the free level that they're directed to. And notice, um, you know, I, all of this is for SEO purposes. This is your uh, meta meta description on Google. Uh, these are your keywords. This is your uh, title that's going to show up on Google. And I am using the the new release and that's why it looks different than yours and as a matter of fact this is the first time I've seen a landing page in the new release but I set this up uh, early January and it is all done with the drag and drop builder I don't do much coding at all and uh, see these are just snippets that I drag drug out and put my signature I tell everything that's in the free. This is a spotlight snippet if you don't know that. And um, you know, here's where they could contact me through the website. And I'm not sure what this is. I do need to fix that, don't I? And um, that, that's just about it. Okay. I didn't show you this before, but this the landing page I was showing you is this goal right here. Inside the free level sequence, this is what it looks like. This is the inside of the free level sequence. The first thing that happens is an HTTP post is sent from Infusionsoft over to Customer Hub and this is what the inside of it looks like and there is an article in the Infusionsoft help docs that shows you how to do this and I'm going to put the link on this page below this video so that you can see it but this is what you need and if you uh, you click the plus sign here's the URL that sends it and you can do a test okay then you need to wait at least 15 minutes to get the system enough time to work uh, this post has to be sent to customer hub customer hub has to have time to create the account and uh, generate the password and all of that so that's why you've got this 15 minute delay here so then I apply one tag which is the free membership level tag and then I send them a welcome email and inside the email I've got their username and their password and I've also got a direct link that they can click if they don't uh, see here your login information I give them the URL the username is going to be their email and then customer hub assigns a password but I also do a uh, automatic login which they can click that and I have a Facebook group a closed Facebook group for uh, everyone to get together and ask questions so um, I need to put the instructions to how to do that you'll find those uh, on the, below this video also